So I'm here again, once again, my streaming brothers, to help you guys figure out how you guys can stream with a five second, well, a three to five second delay. I stream at about a three to five second delay. Right now on YouTube, there's a big issue where Streamlabs and YouTube did an update and everybody has a 20 to 30 second delay because it puts it to normal latency automatically. Now I figured out the solution and how to fix this and I want to show you guys exactly how it's done, all right? Now first off, let's talk about how we used to stream. Now the way we used to stream is we would go to YouTube, we would go to create a stream, we would schedule a stream. Once we were done, we would come to Streamlabs and we would click go live. Now because of the update they recently did, all of that is broken and we have to do it a completely different way. Now, you guys don't have to worry. Thankfully, I went and did all the hard work and figured out exactly how you fix it and how you can stream with a five second or three to five second delay. All right, guys. So this is the solution. Now, it's very easy. All right. Now, basically, what you're going to want to do, you're not going to want to go to YouTube and schedule your stream anymore until they fix this bug. I'll make a video, an update video when they do fix this bug. So just have nobody's on for my channel in case they do end up fixing this bug. I'll show you guys an easier way of going live. But right now, this is what you're going to want to do. You get to your computer. You're going to want to open up Streamlabs, all right? You want to click go live. All right, so now that you're here, you're going to want to make sure you put your title in, whatever your title is going to be, all right? You're going to want to make sure you have your description in, and uh, you can do all of this after. Then you're going to want to make sure your privacy is on public, if you want it to be public. Right now, I'm going to make it private because I'm making this video, all right? You're going to want to make sure your category is under gaming. Your stream latency has to be ultra low latency, all right? If it's normal, it's going to be about a 30, 20 to 30 second delay. Low latency is about a 15 to 25. And ultra low is about a 0 to 5 second delay. All right. So you're going to want to make sure you select ultra low latency. Make sure you select um, enable auto start. And then uh, you could put on enable auto stop if you want. They just added auto stop right here. This is a new thing that they added to Streamlabs. It's really good. It's so if your stream crashes, like let's say your computer crashes, your stream will still be live. So you can restart your computer. You can go on uh, back on Streamlabs, and then you can start a stream. It'll actually connect to your old stream. It will not stop your old stream. It's very, very, very useful for streamers that stream like me for 8 hours, sometimes 12 hours. You want um, auto stop to be disabled, all right? So if you guys want to disable auto stop, you can. That just means when you stop your stream, you actually have to go to uh, YouTube and click end stream after, all right? Um, enable DVR. Obviously, you want that enabled. And 360 video, unless you're doing um, VR stuff, you don't want 360 video, all right? On the old settings is you would click where up here where it says create new event, and then you would click on your stream that was here that was scheduled. You're not going to do that anymore. Do not schedule a stream. Again, when you want to go live, open up Streamlabs, click go live, and then do everything I just said on these settings. Once you're done, you're going to want to click confirm and go live. Let me make sure I'm on private. Yep. You're going to want to click confirm and go live, all right? Your stream will go live. Once it's live, you're going to see a settings button up here. All right. You're going to click the settings button. Once the setting button comes up, it's going to bring you to your dashboard. All right. So now that you're on your dashboard, you're going to have to add a couple. You have to do a couple things. You're going to want to come here. I did a little too fast. You're going to want to come here and click edit. All right. You see where it says edit. You're going to click edit. Then you're going to make sure your title's good. You're going to want to make sure you're monetized. Right. You're going to put in every single type of ad. So you can make more moolah. All right. Then you're going to want to go back to details. You're going to make sure your description's good. I got all my Fortnite tags in there. And then you're going to want to select down here whatever game you're playing. So if I was playing Fortnite, I would say Fortnite. You're going to want to select your thumbnail, whatever thumbnail you're using. Right. You're going to want to put it to a playlist if you want to add it to a playlist. And then you're going to want to make sure you add your tags here, which is very important. You should always be using tags on live streams, not just description tags. Also, uh, video tags down here, all right? Once all of that is done, you're going to want to click Save, and that's it. You will be live at this moment, so just keep that in mind. Now, once you've done all this, you will have a good delay, all right? Now, the reason that it was broken before is because when you were creating a uh, scheduled stream, and then on Streamlabs, you were clicking Ultra Low Latency. A lot of you guys have probably been dealing with this issue. And then when you would come back here and you would click uh, uh, Go Live, there would be a blue button up in the top right corner that said Go Live. It would automatically put on normal latency. Don't know why. Don't understand why it's doing that. But for now, this is how you guys can go live easily without any issues. It's not that hard, to be honest. Like, going live now is not as complicated as, uh, you know, as, as it was about two, three days ago. It was so confusing. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Everybody have a good day. Peace out, guys.